my dear students today i would like to discuss about a mean free path mean free path which is very important topic you can just see how many questions are asking neat even j mains also have seen many questions based on this it's a very simple and easy topic i will give you a shortcut explanation this is not a shortcut video of problem this is a problem this is a video of a shortcut explanation now let me discuss here now uh, you have taken a cylinder in which the molecules are present they are taking multiple collisions then what is the meaning of a mean free path mean free path means length of the cylinder imaginary cylinder in which collisions have been taken place and divided by number of collisions in the volume of a cylinder v okay okay and this is going to be area of cross section of a cylinder so mean free path is nothing but length of an imaginary cylinder in which collisions have been taken place divided by number of collisions in the volume of that cylinder therefore lambda is equal to l by n and volume is nothing but area into length volume is nothing but it is going to be area into length so therefore lambda is going to be ll gets cancelled here 1 by n pi d square because here the radius of a cylinder is taken as d d is not a diameter here d is taken as radius of a cylinder here that's it so your answer is ready your formula is ready but but you have to add one more constant here you have to add one more constant what is that constant that is in this formula you have to add even root 2 also one constant you have to add in the denominator that means your formula is ready now you can solve this problem very easily you can tell the answer very easily that here mean free path mean free path is inversely proportional to d square and mean free path formula is also known to you yes the formula is also known to you that's it in five minutes you learn the concept as well as two problems this is called a shortcut explanation thank you very much have a nice day baby